When rejected, most people crumble. They let that crushing wave of disappointment wash over them, dragging them down into a spiral of self-doubt and defeat. But what if I told you that's the exact opposite of what you should be doing? What if that moment of rejection could be the spark that ignites your greatest success? Listen closely, because I'm about to reveal how the world's top achievers have mastered the art of turning rejection into their secret weapon. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do it too. Forget everything you thought you knew about rejection. It's time to rewire your brain and unlock your true potential. So, are you ready to discover the seven powerful strategies that will transform your view on rejection forever? Shall we proceed? 1. The Rejection Refrain Your brain's hidden superpower. Here's a fact your brain can't tell the difference between physical pain and the sting of rejection. Scientists at the University of Michigan found that the same areas of the brain light up, whether you're experiencing a broken bone or a broken heart. But here's the kicker. The seemingly cruel quirk of nature is actually your greatest asset. When you understand this, you can hack your brain's response to rejection. Instead of letting it cripple you, you can use it as fuel every time you face rejection. Your brain is literally strengthening itself against future pain. You're not just building resilience, you're rewiring your neural pathways for success. So, the next time you feel that familiar ache of rejection, smile your brain is leveling up, preparing you for even greater challenges in victories ahead to the exposure effect. Why rejection is your best teacher? Did you know that the most innovative companies in the world actively seek out rejection? It sounds crazy, but it's true. Take Google, for example. They have a policy called Celebrate Failure, where teams are rewarded for ambitious projects that fail. Why? Because they understand the power of the exposure effect. The exposure effect is a psychological phenomenon where repeated exposure to something increases your comfort and skill with it. In other words, the more you experience rejection, the better you become at handling it and ultimately at succeeding. Think about it like this. Every rejection is a free lesson. It's real world feedback that you can't get anywhere else. While others are paralyzed by the fear of rejection, you're out there collecting data, refining your approach, and getting better with every no you hear. So stop avoiding rejection. Seek it out, embrace it. Let it mold you into an unstoppable force. Three, the rejection resilience ratio. The hidden formula for success. Here's a secret that most people don't know. There's a magic ratio when it comes to rejection and success. It's called the rejection resilience ratio. And understanding it will change your life. Studies show that the most successful people in any field face rejection at a rate of about five. One that means for every success they achieve, they experience five rejections. But here's the crucial part. They don't let those rejections stop them. Take J.K. Rowling. For example, her Harry Potter manuscript was rejected by 12 different publishers before it was finally accepted. Imagine if she'd given up after the third, fifth, or even tenth rejection. The world would have lost one of its most beloved stories. The rejection resilience ratio isn't just a statistic. It's a mindset. It means understanding that rejection isn't a roadblock. It's a necessary part of the journey to success. When you internalize this, every rejection becomes a step closer to your ultimate victory. For the rejection redirect, turning no into not yet. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to bounce back from rejection almost instantly? They've mastered what I call the rejection redirect. 
This powerful technique involves instantly reframing a rejection from a final no into a temporary not yet. It's not about blind optimism. It's about strategic persistence. Take the story of Brian Acton, co-founder of WhatsApp in 2009. He was rejected for jobs at both Facebook and Twitter. Instead of giving up, he used the rejection redirect. He saw those no's as not yet and kept pushing forward. Five years later, Facebook acquired WhatsApp for $19 billion. The rejection redirect works because it keeps you in motion. Instead of wallowing in self-pity, you're immediately looking for the next opportunity. It's like a mental judo move. Using the energy of the rejection to propel you forward. So the next time you meet rejection, don't just accept the no ask yourself. What's the next step where can I redirect this energy? You'll be amazed at the doors that open when you refuse to let rejection be the end of your story. Five, the rejection revelation. Unveiling your hidden strengths. Here's a true bomb for you. Rejection doesn't just test your strength. It reveals it. I call this the rejection revelation. And it's one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal. Think about it when everything's going smoothly. You don't really know what you're capable of. It's only when you face rejection and adversity that your true character emerges. Take the story of Oprah Winfrey. Early in her career, she was fired from her job as a television anchor because she was deemed unfit for TV. Can you imagine, but, that rejection revealed something crucial about Oprah? Her unshakable belief in herself and her unique ability to connect with people. Instead of letting that rejection define her, Oprah used it as a catalyst to discover her true strengths. She leaned into her authenticity and empathy, qualities that would eventually make her one of the most influential media figures. In history, the rejection revelation works because it forces you to dig deep and uncover strengths you might not even know you had. Maybe it's resilience, creativity, or the ability to pivot quickly. Whatever it is, these hidden strengths often become the foundation of your future success. So when you get rejected again, ask yourself, what is this revealing about me? What strength am I discovering? You might just uncover the superpower that sets you apart from everyone else. Six, the rejection recon. Intelligence gathering for success. Here's where things get really interesting. What if I told you that rejection is actually valuable? Intelligence welcome to the concept of rejection recon. Most people see rejection as the end of the road. But savvy operators know it's just the beginning of a crucial intelligence gathering mission. Every rejection is packed with data that can fuel your next success if you know how to extract it. Let's look at the world of sales. The best sales people don't just move on. After rejection, they conduct a thorough postmortem. They ask questions like, what objections did the client have? What needs did I fail to address? What can I learn from this interaction? To improve my approach, this isn't just about sales, though it applies to every area of life. Rejected for a job. That's valuable. Intel on what skills you need to develop. Turn down for a date. That's data on how you can improve your approach or presentation. The key is to approach each rejection like a detective be curious, not crushed. Ask questions, seek feedback. And use every piece of information to refine your strategy. Remember, in the game of success, information is power. And rejection is one of the richest sources of information you'll ever find. So don't just experience rejection. Study it, learn from it, and use it to power your next move. 7. The Phoenix Principle Rising stronger from the ashes of rejection We've reached the final and most powerful strategy. The Phoenix Principle 
This is where all the other techniques come together to create something truly transformative. The Phoenix Principle is based on the mythical bird that rises from its own ashes, stronger and more beautiful than before. It's about using rejection not just to bounce back, but to catapult yourself to heights you never thought possible. History is full of examples of the Phoenix Principle and action Steve Jobs was famously fired from Apple, the company he co-founded. But instead of being defeated, he used that rejection to fuel his next moves. He founded Next Computer in Pixar, developed new skills and perspectives, and ultimately returned to Apple to lead it to unprecedented success. The Phoenix Principle works because it completely reframes the role of rejection in your life. Instead of seeing it as something that happens to you, you start to see it as something that happens for you. Each rejection becomes an opportunity for rebirth, for reinvention, for rising to a new level. To apply the Phoenix Principle, ask yourself after each rejection, how can I use this to become even better? What new direction could this open up for me? It's not about ignoring the pain of rejection but about channeling that energy into positive. Transformation, remember, the Phoenix doesn't just repair itself. It emerges as something new and improved. That's your challenge and your opportunity. With every rejection, you have the chance to reinvent yourself, to shed old limitations and to soar to new heights. The fact is rejection isn't your enemy. It's your secret weapon. It's the force that can propel you from mediocrity to excellence from obscurity to success. By mastering these seven strategies, you're not just learning to cope with rejection, you're learning to thrive because of it. The next time you face rejection, remember you're not being stopped. You're being redirected to something even better. You're not being destroyed, you're being reborn stronger and more resilient than ever. Now go out there and accept rejection. Seek it out, learn from it. And use it to fuel your journey to the top. Because the person who masters rejection doesn't just succeed, they become unstoppable. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, Make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.